Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Tesla Effect, a Tex Murphy adventure, where it has been seven years since the events of Overseer, but for Tex Murphy, it has apparently been a day. Um, he needs to go to, uh, what was it, the North Hill Clinic to get his head checked by a friend of his now apparently, possibly girlfriend, Taylor, the niece of... Of Louis laments, um, but we've got a crime scene to investigate, and for that inv investigation, we're gonna need a a ladder. Carlos Maldonado, the undercover man, dial five 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 dirtbag. No deed too dirty, no job unworthy, and always dirt cheap. But it's locked. I won't be able to enter without proper identification as tex has has noted i will not be able to get in um now roads where we're going yeah we'll need roads <laughs> <laughs> don't we have flying cars and i never go in there unless i really really have to ah it's a mike a nike uh hammer comic that's uh, a mike and ike hammer candy comic the sweet and sour lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. Now, supposedly the Golden Gate Hotel has a ladder. Another one. Citizen Candy Cane. Ah, uh, it's a Mike and Ike Hammer Candy comic. Citizen Candy Cane. A uh, classic of the Mike and Ike variety. Another one. It's just littered all over the street. I would not eat these comics. Another Mike and Ike Hammer. Candy Cane Confidential. There's a crime scene. What have we got here? Murder My Sweet. Like an eye camera. Murder My Sweet. This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. And I believe this is the building that pays homage, not homage, that pays, uh, to the, uh, to the Kickstarter tributes. One of these buildings is for them. I am not in that building, unfortunately. Another Mike and I camera candy comic. Tootsie Rolled. I can't say for, for why. I was probably just short the money by the time the Kickstarter rolled around. That's the best I can think of, but I can't really remember my situation at the time. And we've got some... The Buick's been picked clean by the urban vultures. So nothing in there. And then we've got the Coit Tower. Tower. Once one of the great landmarks of the city is now a broken down monument symbolizing the world that's passed us by. It's a little bit of a moody uh, reminiscence there, Tex. Yeah, the Golden Gate Hotel was so famous they named a bridge after it. <laughs> exactly. And then there's the Snow White Warehouse where uh, Flem was yep, uh, hiding Snow White out. Warehouse. The Llama Club, that's new. Closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. I'm pretty right. sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White Warehouse somehow. This is true. I wonder if that's basically a clue that I should go in there. Hmm. This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Now, supposedly there might be a ladder around here, but I don't see a way in. Or like an inter- like, uh, this does not seem to be- oh, it is. Wow. This 
place really has been renovated. I guess that dumbbell Ardo must have come into some money. But as I walk to the counter, I suspect this place is under new management. Holograms are people too. Oh yeah, now I remember this plot point. Welcome to the Golden Gate Hotel. How can I help you? Eh, her name is Holly Graham. Um, whatever happened to Do you know Ardo, the guy who worked here before? What whatever happened to that big, lovable moron? Ardo Newpop, California State Senator, ran on a fire safety platform. Makes sense. That checks out. Um, let's be friends. It's very impressive. Nice to have some class around the joint. But you can drop the Mr. Murphy thing. Call me Tex. No, thank you. The last time I tried that, you were all... I'm a professional and should be treated as such. For some sort of righteous baloney like that. Management heard about it and I didn't get any time off for a month. And that was supposed to be me? How do you know so much about me anyway? Unlike you tangibles, we have computer brains. But isn't your computer brain also tangible? In a sense? Um... So, you got a name? You know very well who I am. Holly Graham. Cute, right? You tangibles just can't resist a pun. Puns are fantastic. I will, I will uh, stand by that statement. Um... Hmm. So what's with that sign? Holograms are people too. <laughs> so you can read. It's for the hologram rights movement. I hate to tell you this, but holograms aren't people. I had to know because I've dated a few. That's exactly what they used to say about minorities, women, and mutants. It's our turn now. I'm officially on strike. Um. Pep talk? Well. More battery power to you. Really? You're the last person I thought I'd hear that from. Everyone in this neighborhood's afraid of you, you know. Really? Um. <laughs> afraid I might not pay my bills, maybe. Speaking of the neighborhood, maybe you can help me by telling me what's been going on around here. Sure. Though I should warn you, I don't get out much. All right. Um, tell me about this fellow named now Tex that I Murphy. Now support the hologram rights movement. I may have to reevaluate my opinion of you. Um, abduction on Chandler. I heard gunshots, and then the speeder came flying out and took off. Uh, Ritz Hotel? Well, it's no Golden Gate Hotel, is it? This is true. Uh, do you have a ladder I can use? We keep everything like that over at the Snow White Warehouse. Oh, yep, I guess every case ends up there. Maybe that dialogue point showed up a little bit sooner, uh, just because I happened to look in that direction. I think he came in one time with Mojo, the kid from the barbecue place. It was awkward. Uh, Taylor Laments? Taylor's my bestie, my real friend. I don't know what she's doing with you. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Louis Laments? The nicest tangible I've ever met. Um, Holly Graham, tell me about yourself. Oh, you know me. Just a hologram. Here to serve my tangible oppressors. And the Snow White Warehouse? I've heard they keep a key or something to get inside the warehouse by the door. Thanks? Um... I should look around the hotel lobby and see if there's anything here that could help me out. Alright. I suppose I could. When there's a... Salt Lake, be sure to visit... While in San Francisco Bay. This place could use a woman's touch. Tex. My gosh. I guess this is time out for unruly guests. Mm -hmm. 
Nice furniture. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Is there anything Hopefully for me to collect? Renovations include installing an actual ball pit. I mean, there's Holly Graham. There's doors to nowhere. Oh, there's a key. It's a key to a lockbox. Hmm. Huh. Just picked up a random key he found sitting on a desk. But that's Only guests of this hotel are allowed entrance through here. That's what comes uh, with being an adventure game. You just pick up whatever is lying on the ground. This is a nice feature for uh, for this game. The fact that you can just enter and exit environments at will. You don't have loading screens between every room. Oh, hello. This became a highly sought after neighborhood. Yeah, 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 yeah. When it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. What do we got here? It's like instructions to get into the Snow White. Hey, Joe, we changed the Snow White warehouse lockbox code. New code is 4268. Destroy after reading. Clearly, he didn't get around destroying it. What was that? 4268? Fantastic. So far, so good. We don't need sparkles on our interactable objects. Sex Offenders List. Nilo Paglio. That is not a big surprise, considering he had cameras in the women's restrooms. And, of course, are we getting a flashback uh, to Under a Killing Moon here? Wow, is this still here? I used this to deal with a cunning criminal on my Under a Killing Moon case who had a bad case of bozophobia. I heard he had my name tattooed on his knuckles, and he wants to show me firsthand when he gets out of prison. I'm not really looking forward to that. I wouldn't be either. Oh, hold on. Is that a ladder? Yep, that's the Snow White warehouse. Hmm. Also, apparently there is no jump button. There's just investigate. Looks like an interesting read. Enigma, a Tex Murphy novel by Aaron Connors. Tex Murphy had uncovered the greatest secret in the history of the world, and there were some who would stop at nothing to protect. Looks like an interesting read. Amateur. <laughs> Looks like an interesting read. All right. It's a lever. So pull the lever. Am I just going to pick this up and throw it in my inventory? Well, now that I have a ladder, I can get into the second floor of the electronic shop. All right, let's run over to the electronic shop and get into that second floor area. Uh, see what was who was shooting at. Um, Whoever else was involved. Perhaps they were shooting at me. Perhaps they were shooting at the other people. Um, inventory. Ladder. Apparently he was getting shot at. Anything going on in these other apartments? The answer is no. Yeah, Louis once told me these rooms were used by bootleggers and smugglers during Prohibition. 
There were hidden panels in rooms where they'd hide their stash. No, no, stay inside. All right, so we got some blood stains behind this shelf. Clearly, there's something we can do to move it. Someone's been spying on the citizens of Chandler Avenue. Help me to keep him pure. Please vote against the sale of liquors. Someone needs to update their poster collection. Prohibition ended a hundred years ago. Close the saloons. If you believe that the traffic in alcohol does more harm than good, help stop it. All right. That's a damn shame. This guy was working diligently to get a free sub at Inspector Burns Barbecue. Well, someone's been living up here. All right, let's try this puzzle. Hope for the best. Um. Oh, is this basically just Simon Says? Yellow, orange, red. Uh, thinks most of that is gone. Am I still doing that last one? Ah, this is gonna take a few tries. That was yellow, that one, maybe that one? Ah, I'm off one. Yellow, blue, this one. Was it that one or, ah, oh, geez. Nope. No, oh, it went back down here. Then that one, then that one, then that one maybe? Um, that one? Oh my gosh. Whew. I was worried I might have to do that again. I think he might be dead. Jim, I think he's dead. I think he's dead, Jim. All right, already day two. Tex gets his mojo on or dial M for more on. Following our first lead and we get ourselves caught in a laser net. All in a day's work, right? Smart Alex had a point, but I wasn't gonna let him have the satisfaction of knowing so. There was one good thing about spending hours stuck in a laser net. You've got time to think, who is this guy? Who killed him? And what kind of surveillance was he doing right across from my apartment? And what's in the metal canister? Have seven years really passed without me remembering it? Is it related to my head injury or the injection mark on my arm?
Why, hello! Is he dead? Well, I think you missed a hell of a party. Party? Yeah, you're here in time for the laser show. I wouldn't do that. <sighs> I was here to meet Carlos Maldonado. Is that you? Nope. Or him. Look, I just stumbled onto this little nightmare, and I need to find out who this guy was and what he was doing. I'm a PI, and I assume this guy is Maldonado. My name's Murphy. Who are you? Mason said Maldonado was a PI. Were you working with Mason, too? <sighs> I'll be honest. I don't know if I was working for Mason or not. Actually, I'm having severe memory problems here. So anything you can tell me about Maldonado or Mason or what's in the cryo chamber here would be greatly appreciated. I would be surprised if he told me anything. I think I set off an alarm when I came in here. I don't usually do this kind of thing. I was just trying to help Mason. He said, come in here, find the PI, get the cryo chamber, and keep it safe. Hey, 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 well, he... I, I found that first. Slow learner. You have to find Mason. I think he's in big trouble with bad people. I don't know why. He's a neurologist, for God's sake. But you have to promise me that if I let you go, you won't come after me. You'll find Mason. Oh, I promise. My fingers are so frozen, I can't cross them. If your memory problems are part of all this, Mason is the only one who can help you. So you need to find him and bring him back safe just as much as I do. Yeah, I'll be thanks. Back soon. <laughs> Man, those cops are getting close, but I don't want to leave this place without a clue. Better hurry up and find something before they get here. With any luck, one of these things is a card that gets me into Maldonado's uh, office. Well, that might come in handy. Um, strictly speaking, I would never encourage anyone to break the law, but those sirens are getting awfully close, and a life sentence for a machine can last a very long time. So move! All right. All right, all right. I guess I've gotten everything I need. As I try to make my great escape down the ladder, I find two officials waiting to greet me. Hello, boys. Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy, what were you doing in there? Well, it's a little hard to explain. Oh, you know the drill. I was really trying to get my hands on that surveillance equipment. Maybe I could see exactly what happened to me. Now the only way I'll find it is if New San Francisco's finest decides to play ball with me. I don't know why they'd start now, but I'd better polish up on the old Murphy charm. Whether you're a mutant or a norm, San Francisco is our home. Be a part of the solution to crime. If you see something suspicious, please report it to the SFPD immediately. Make it quick, Murphy. I got about a million things to do. And wasting time on you ain't one of them. Didn't take you long to get in trouble, did it? You here to turn yourself in? Am I here to turn myself in? Uh, common courtesy. Well, first of all, no. And second of all, Danwich, you know me. You didn't have to send your goons down to get me. If you wanted me to come down, just ask me. I'm surprised you remember me. Um... I may not have told anyone this before, but you're actually my favorite patrolman. In case you didn't get the memo, I head up the department now. And things aren't as loosey-goosey as they were under Malden. Hmm. Let's ask about Chelsea. Well, I hope you're more helpful than he used to be. Look, I know this is going to sound pretty crazy, but hear me out. 
This morning, I wake up with a massive head injury and an injection mark on my arm. No idea how I got either one of it. Then I talk to a few people, I find out I can't remember anything over the last seven years. You're right, it does sound crazy. But go on. The thing of it is, my last memory is of me and my lady friend getting shot. Your lady friend, that was uh, Chelsea Bando? Know that. Well, I know How does he know that? Was found a few weeks later with Miss Bando's DNA inside of it. God. That does not sound good. She's dead. We closed the case. Though a few of us thought something didn't feel quite right about it. What do you mean? Well, the scene was too staged. But I'm not saying Chelsea isn't dead. The last time anyone saw her was with you at the Golden Pagoda. What are you saying? I was a suspect? You were, in fact. I'd have to look at the case. You were cleared at some point. Can I look at the case files? Now you know you can't, so don't even ask. But I already well, asked. Murphy, I feel for you. But it was a long time ago. Chelsea was pronounced legally dead, and there's no evidence to believe otherwise. I don't know what else I can tell you. Did you ever catch the guy who shot us? No arrest. Somebody high up on the chain locked that case down and threw away the key. Even if I wanted to see the file, I'd have to pull some strings. What could you do to help me out here? I mean, until I see something or get some information, I'm just not going to be able to believe that Chelsea's gone. I'm sorry, Murphy. I really am. If you can find me some new clues on the case, I'll do what I can to get it reopened. And that's the best I can do for you. Good luck. Thanks. I'm glad that I've distracted you from whatever you. brought me in in the first place. My gut tells me she's still alive. But I'll find out one way or the other. So why is it you think I came down here to turn myself in? Well, we just found you at a crime scene with a dead body. That dead body happens to be Carlos Maldonado, a PI work in the same neighborhood as you. Is that your way of intimidating the competition? Uh, there's nothing wrong with market saturation. Well, lucky for me and Carlos, there's enough crime on Chandler Avenue to go around for two PIs. You boys do such a bang-up job down there. Not true. Since I took over, mutant neighborhoods get the same attention as the norms. Well, I'll be sure to tell Carlos's mother, if he had one. I was just reviewing your file when you came in. Is that a lot? Because it looks like a lot. That does look like a lot. August, 2047. Beak Nariz, NSFPD informant. Beaten and hospitalized after providing information about Tex Murphy. Nariz refuses to identify his assailant. No charges ever filed. November 2048. Surveillance video shows suspected extortionist Jen Lee leaving the Golden Pagoda with Tex Murphy, never to be seen again. The case remains unsolved. Shall I go on? In the past few years, you've gained quite a reputation for yourself. You've gotten new San Francisco's criminal underbelly running scared. You're a cop. Is, isn't that the way you like your criminal underbellies? We arrest <laughs> criminals so they could be tried in a court of law. We don't just kill them, and I won't tolerate vigilanteism. If you didn't kill Maldonado, what were you doing then? Um, I was looking around. Um, victim blame? No. Helpful idiom. Well, I'm drawn to laser nets like a moth to the flame. I followed the trail and saw that Maldonado had surveillance equipment aimed at my office. I want to find out what he recorded. Who cares what he recorded? If you're such an upstanding citizen, you've got nothing to hide, right? I don't know what I have to hide. I got jumped last night. I've got no idea who did it. I think there might be something on the surveillance tape. And if you can tell me what happened, I think I can help you on this case. Deal? 
I rarely make deals, and I don't need to make one with our only person of interest. Any more questions? Um, tell me about this Tex Murphy character. I'm not sure what to think of you, Murphy. What about my abduction or that abduction on Chandler? I have no evidence of an abduction. Just a dead body and only one person of interest. It might be in your best interest if you could find out what happened. All right. I'll guess I'll do your work for you, uh, the Ritz that Hotel. The neighborhood seems to attract more than its fair share of trouble. Chelsea Bando? As far as the coroner and the commissioner were concerned, finding Chelsea's remains in your speeder were enough to pronounce her legally dead. Uh, Taylor Laments? She's an investigative reporter at the Bay City Mirror. One of the less obnoxious ones. Uh, Carlos Maldonado. What can you tell me about this guy? I know Maldonado was a dirtbag. But unless it's in self-defense, killing somebody, even a dirtbag, is a crime and will be prosecuted. All right. That encrypted memory stick probably has some useful information on it. Oh, great advice. If you could help me break it, then I'd be impressed. Guess I'll have to see if anyone else on the street can break it for me. Hmm. Probably the electronics shop. What else have we got? We've also gotten... His driver's license. Nice to meet you, Maldonado. I'll need to find a computer whiz to break the encryption on this memory stick. All right, let's stop by the electronics shop, see if Zach over there can uh, help clear this up for us. Rumor is Zach Williams, owner of the electronics shop, is tied to organized crime. Well, we've had our problems in the past. For example, the last time I was here, he shot my credit card into a million pieces. I'm hoping he's in a little better humor today and doesn't blow my brains out, or even worse. That is a close-up. Okay, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> well, just so I'm clear, what kind of trouble are you not wanting? Everyone knows what happens to people who get on your bad side. Only one reason you ever come in here, and it ain't to buy anything. You know all our stuff is junk. Well, um, I think it's time to rebrand and get non-junk stuff. Is that the new electronic shop slogan? I mean, it's no wonder you're not getting any new business. Why are you busting my chops? You know what kind of business we're running here. Make it clear. It's been like a minute. Are you saying this is some sort of front for organized crime? Because that sounds illegal. Look, the guys upstairs don't want any trouble either. They said you can have whatever you want at cost. You can even put it on credit. Then I'll just tear up the bill. That's convenient. No, I'm talking about literally upstairs. Look, I know how much you hated Maldonado, and I probably shouldn't have let him use the second floor. But he was paying cash, and he kept a low profile. So I thought oh. it was all good. I didn't know what he was doing up there, and I didn't want to know. Does Zach think that Tex killed uh, Maldonado uh, just out of competition's sake? Well, I didn't kill Maldonado, although I could have, if that's what you're thinking. I wasn't thinking anything except what I could do to help, so you won't hurt me. All right, um, tell me about Tex Murphy. You the man, okay? We good? Yes. Look, I told the cops I wasn't here, which is technically true. I just parked out back when I heard the gunshots, so I just started the engine right back up and got the hell out. Okay, what about the Ritz Hotel? You live there, so I'm not going to say a thing about it. <laughs> uh, three cards to midnight? That place opened up a couple of months ago. Doesn't look like my kind of joint. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any kind of anybody's kind of joint. I do love Louie's cooking. Up. Just don't ask what's in it and you'll be fine. Yeah, considering he uses motor oil for his coffee. 
You know about my memory loss. All I know is you ain't the same guy that came slinking in here seven years ago. And I'm sure he just wants to stay on the safe side. Chelsea's death? Sorry to hear about that. Is that what turned you into Mr. Badass? Uh, possibly, amongst other things. Mason Bowers? I think he's the one who came by to check in on Maldonado. Must have been a client. Don't know anything else about him. Um, Zach Williams? Let's just leave me out of this, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. Carlos Maldonado? Sure, Maldonado was a creep, but his money spent just the same. He said he needed to do a stake out of the Ritz. Didn't mention any specific names. Didn't sound like a big deal, and he was offering a good chunk of change. Yeah, but he knows Tex lives there. Uh, encrypted memory stick. I sell items to customers, not purchase them. Okay, he can't help me out with the encrypted memory stick. Huh. Maybe... Maybe Holly knows how to break into it. Let's go talk to Holly. She's on strike. Holly must be out on strike. I'd better come back later to talk to her. All right. So, Holly can't help me out. Rook, what have you got for me? You old codger, you. The little gremlin who runs the pawn shop. I've heard that his hard shell is hiding a heart of gold. But if it was. He cut it out himself with a rusted soup can. Murphy! Here, let me look at you. Uh, Louis told me something terrible has happened. I haven't been worried sick. Um... Yeah, he, here's the rundown. Well, I appreciate the concern, but other than a weird case of amnesia, I'm fine. Uh, but Louis says you're behaving like a totally different person. Since when do you care about what happens to me? Don't tell me your little Grinch heart has grown three sizes in the last seven years. Oh, Lord. Please don't tell me that lump on your head has turned you back into the uh, pathetic, pestering P.I. I used to know. Uh, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Um, uh, yeah. Magician secrets revealed. Are you telling me the text I turned into was not pathetic and pestering? Those are my secret weapons. Look, Murphy, I'll grant you have some detective skills, but it was all relentless, annoying banter and endless questions to me. I mean, imagine my surprise when, over the past few years, you turned into someone I could actually tolerate. I appreciate the fact that, like, everybody either dislikes Tex or fears him, and then Rook is like, yep, uh, this is the good, this is the good version. No kidding. So what was it you loved most about the new me? You cut out all the chit-chat and became a no-nonsense customer who pays in cash. You always seem to have plenty of cash. So basically, we stopped talking and I gave you money. Oh, I get it. All of a sudden, I get some dough and suddenly we're best friends. Why'd they come up with so much cash? <laughs> How should I know? I mean, if I'd asked you that two days ago, you would have punched me in the face. Hmm. I mean, I mean, it could still be fun. We could still do that. More than happy to do it now, if it'd help. Oh, you're <laughs> very funny. I'll admit, Murphy, you do have a certain charm. It makes my skin crawl. <laughs> um... Okay, I'll cut the chit-chat. Just tell me where I come up with all this cash. All my transactions are done in strictest confidence. That hasn't changed. But you, I'm the person who was here and am here, so... I'm having a few rough days here, Rook, and 
All I'm trying to do is get my memory back. I could use a little help. Fine. Though I don't know anything that could possibly explain what's happened to you. Uh, believe me, I'd tell you if I did. Now, I suppose this is where you ask if I mind answering a few questions. But this is not for old time's sake. Okay, well, tell me about Tex. You became a sullen, short-tempered bully. And I miss that desperately. Is that because you saw yourself in me also a sullen, short-tempered bully? Abduction on Chandler. I heard a commotion and saw a crazed man running willy-nilly down the street and two other men in pursuit. Um, tell me about the Ritz Hotel. I was hoping they would tear that flop house down. And they would have two if it weren't for that meddling <laughs> Clint. Uh, Archie Ellis? Such an upbeat, chipper little man. Utterly obnoxious. Um, I appreciate the fact that they just don't bother worrying about the things that these characters wouldn't know about. Because, like, even though you could ask them every question, a lot of the time it was like, I don't know anything about that. I went there once, never again. What with that herbal tea and incense, it's a veritable gas chamber. Oof. Chelsea Bando? I knew she'd get nothing but trouble being with you. Thanks, uh, Taylor Laments. Louis' niece is an absolute delight. What she sees in you is an absolute mystery. But she's, what if she saw a sullen, grouchy bully, and that's what she was into? Louis Laments? A prince among men. Makes me wish I could still eat solid food. Uh, Texas memory loss? Years ago, after Chelsea disappeared, you came to me looking for leads to some valuable items. Among them, a, um, a lost Fabergé egg. You left the street for a long time. When you return to Chandler Avenue, you seem like a different person. A, a darker, a more dangerous. Hmm. A uh, Holly Graham? I understand you have a thing for holograms. Maybe she's just your type. Thanks. Um, Chelsea's death? I'm sure you know much more about that than I. Some say you know exactly what happened. It's too bad it's gone. Uh, Mason Bowers. That's the man you think was abducted? The one I saw being chased down the street? I never heard his name before you told me. All right. Uh, Carlos Maldonado. Maldonado. Uh, he puts the P.I. in pig. I heard you two had something of a rivalry going on. Uh, Zach Williams. At least he knows how to keep his mouth shut. Due to his crimes. Rook Garner? Uh, next question. All right. That was fast. Uh, encrypted memory stick? It's an encrypted memory stick. Now the ah. is open. I'll bet his back gate's open, too. Huh. So, Zach and Rook cannot help me. Holly Graham is out on strike. There's a password. Uh, is there a password on my own computer? Like, I doubt my own computer can just... Oh, hello. This message is for Mr. Tex Murphy. Storm clouds are brewing. Are you with the White Russians or against us? A White Guard member is close. Prove your loyalty, and we will reveal the truth. What the heck was that? There must be another Tex Murphy in the phone book. Right. So. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, I, I, you're, you're right about that. All right. Well, we still haven't gone to the North Hill Clinic, which we probably could. Um, there's apparently somebody we need to prove ourselves to. In the meantime, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.